Hey everyone, welcome to my kitchen where everything is scratch made and home preserved. I'm Jenny and today I am drying potatoes. Now I did a dry mixes video in my part two video. I showed you the mix for au gratin potatoes and scallop potatoes, the sauce for the dried potatoes. And I used my own home dried potatoes. And I had a lot of you ask about, did I have a video on it? And I did have short little snippets on prepping those potatoes in another video but it wasn't great. So I wanted to do it again and show you in one video how I dehydrate my potatoes and they are beautifully dehydrated, no discoloration. So I wanted to show you how I do it. So pull a chair up to my counter and let's get started. All right, I have my potatoes here. I am just peeling and putting my whole potato into a bowl of water. Um, I am using my Rada peeler. Rada, Rada has two peelers. One of them, I think they call the king peeler, which is this one. It's bigger. I kind of like it because it's just easy to handle. Um, but peel your potatoes any way you like. But if you're interested in this peeler, the Rada link is in the description box below. It takes you to the Rada store and then you can just search. Um, if you click on the little button of products, it will show all of them and the peeler will pop up. I tell you, this potato, this bag of potatoes I got from Costco and they have had a lot of bad spots in them. So I've had to cut a lot of potato out. Okay, so this is about 10 pounds of potatoes. I got another five pounds left, but I wanna keep my five pounds because that's all I got for potatoes for the week. And I have a canning project coming up tomorrow that I'm gonna need a couple of potatoes. Um, by the time you see this video, you will have already seen that canning project. <laughs> So I'm going to can that stuff tomorrow, and it is actually the meatball and potato video. So I know you will have already seen that. So I can go ahead and tell you. Okay, so I'm gonna take all these peels out to my garden. I have the big uh, barrel out there. I don't know what you do with your potato peels. Um, I always recycle them into the garden bed because um, I'm not going to eat them. I do not eat peels. I don't like them. I never will. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Okay, going out to the garden. Okay, here is my mandolin. I don't have enough room here to turn it really. Okay, this is what it looks like. Um, this one is Pampered Chef. It's an old one. The guard has to be on it. You have to put your potato in here. Um, so I've put it in, pushed this up. This is so hard. I'm right-handed and I can't put my camera anywhere else. I'm so sorry. Um, anyway. It just slices down. You can do yours. Here, and here are my potatoes. You can do yours by hand if you don't have one of these. That is not a, a, a big issue. You want these about an 8-inch thick. Okay, and then when this is done, bam, here's what's left. So I'm keeping my potatoes in the water, um, in the bowl, and it's just water, no lemon juice yet, okay? But that helps get some of the, the starch out and dip with discoloring, I don't want them to be discolored. I'm gonna start my next potato. This really goes um, pretty fast with a mandolin. Sorry, you can't see. You can see them kind of falling off the back there. So I got this thing from Pamper Chef years ago. This is their older one and it's really big. Um, they don't, I guess they're not this big anymore. But if you're interested, they do have another one and I do have a Pamper Chef link because it's something I use a lot of, and no, I don't sell it. Okay, once I get a lot of potatoes, I transfer them to a big bucket. These I get at Costco, they come with a lid. They're great for food prep. So I take them, put them in here. Um, 
This is where I'm going to put water and lemon juice. And I am going to stick them in the fridge to chill with the water and the lemon juice overnight. And that will suck out some of the starch and give them a beautiful color. You can use citric acid if you don't want to use lemon juice, no problem. I'm going to use lemon juice because I have it right here in my fridge. There's a potato under there. So bottled lemon juice, I'm putting in like a quarter cup. Here's the other side of my kitchen. So I'm going to start filling this with water. My potatoes are over there and each time I take one of the potatoes, I rinse it and I've already rinsed them in that bowl a couple times, um, but I really try to get some of the starch out and, and have a good color. So each time I pull a potato out, I rinse it before I slice it. So now I'm going to keep that there. I'm going to grab another potato and rinse it. And I'm going to finish my slicing. All right, there are my 10 pounds of potatoes sliced up. It took me eight minutes on the mandolin to slice 10 pounds of potatoes. That thing is fast. So um, I've got them in there with the lemon juice. I'm going to go ahead and stick that whole entire thing in my fridge. And I've already got my mess cleaned up. That was easy peasy. So kind of like prep a day can a day. This is prep a day dry a day. Uh huh. I'll see you guys tomorrow. My potatoes have soaked overnight in this container. And because I try to get as much starch out as I possibly can, I am going to take small loads of this out and rinse them as I go. Like I said, it's a little bit more of a lengthy process with um, rinsing but and soaking, but I just think it makes your potato, your end product, so much more beautiful. You see my water is cloudy and full of starch. I'm going to go ahead and rinse the potatoes. And then we're going to put them in boiling water and let them blanch. I actually do it for three minutes. I think I've seen written down other people do it for 30 seconds, 60 seconds. Three minutes starts to cook it a tiny bit and it just, they just look. Okay, so as soon as my water is boiling, we'll blanch these. Okay, my water is boiling finally. I have my pan lined with two towels. I'm gonna bring my potatoes over here. Sorry, canning if it's too loud, sorry. I'm always canning in this kitchen. I'm gonna put my potatoes in. This is just plain water. I did not salt it. I'm going to turn my timer on and let these go for three minutes. Three minutes is up. I'm going to take these out. Now, you can drop them into some an ice bath. I've done that, and I've done it this way, and it doesn't seem to make much of a difference, so I'm cutting out that step. Completely up to you. They will dry in the dehydrator so you don't have to dry them super good. Okay, and then you just take your potatoes and lay them out. Make sure that they're not overlapping. They can touch, they just can't overlap. I find too that if I don't put them if I don't put them into cold water, they dry faster. Okay? 
I have laid my potato slices out onto my dehydrator tray. You just want to make sure that your potatoes aren't overlapping. So I'm going to go ahead and put this into the dehydrator. And I am going to continue on laying the rest of my potatoes out here. Okay, there they are. The potatoes are in. Okay, I have the lid on. I have the heat set for 125 degrees. I am going to set the timer. These need to dry between 6 and 14 hours. So I will put the timer on for eh, 6 hours and start checking it then. You're looking for a dry, crisp potato that snaps when you break it in half. And to be honest, these are probably going to take more around 8 to 10 hours uh, than 6. But I'll let you know exactly how long they took. But Excalibur directions say 6 to 14 hours. A few hours later. Okay, I'm going to take this off. And here they are. You can tell they're done when you break them and they snap. They should not be bendable. Now this is what I do. After they're completely dry and I check them to make sure that they're dry and I know that they're dry, then I shut this off. I let them sit in here with the lid on for 24 hours before I pull them out and put them in a jar. Okay, now that we've got our potatoes put in the jars and I wanna show you just how gorgeous colored these potatoes are. They are perfect. The extra step, soaking them overnight. Now, when you boil them for three minutes and you pull them out, you can also put them in ice water to stop the cooking. Um, I don't, I find it didn't really make a difference in the color, so I just pull them out and put them right on a towel and dry them a little bit and then stick them in the food dehydrator and they turn out perfect. Also letting them sit in here for 24 hours after you've dried them just to make for sure that they are dried out. The next step, after you've got them in here and as you're putting them in, you gotta pack them in and shake your jar down. But as you're doing that, every day you're gonna need to condition your jars, every day for the next couple weeks, okay? So leave them on your counter and every day come in and give them a little shake and check your jar for moisture. If you see any moisture, you need to put them back into the dryer. After that, stick them in your cupboard. They are good to go. Okay guys, I hope that was helpful for you on potato drying and how I do it and how to make your potatoes turn out gorgeous. That is all there is to dehydrating potatoes. Now, I do have a couple extra steps involved in the way I do it, so it takes a little bit longer, but they come out gorgeous. Soaking them overnight really does help, especially in the lemon water, especially in water that has a little acidity added to it. You can use lemon, you can use lemon juice, or you can use citric acid either way. Now, I've used both and lemon juice does not make my potatoes taste lemony. So when they're dried, I don't even know that I soaked them in lemon juice. I hope you found the video helpful and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like videos like these, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out a lot and I sure do appreciate your support. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook and you can visit my blog at JennyGoff.com for all of my recipes. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.